Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, good evening, it's 11 minutes past 6 and I'm in my bathroom. Now, everyone that's been following my channel will realise that I met this guy on FaceTime. Didn't actually meet face to face in the flesh but we met online FaceTime. Now this is my bathroom where this guy asked me to take off my top. He went, he said to me, go into your bathroom, hun, and, you know, show us a picture of your boobs. So this is my bathroom. And this is what he wanted me to do. I'm not going to obviously do it, but he wanted me to show me he he used to say to me what you're wearing and i said i'm wearing on one occasion i've written it all down to show to the coppers um he kept persisting persisting and persisting so this all started um because i've written it all down this all started on the 5th of July, which was my sister's birthday, which is uncanny, isn't it? He contacted me on Meet Me on the 5th of July, 2024. This guy I met off FaceTime. So the first day, it's hi, hun, getting to know me. The second day, it's show your boobs, kiss, kiss, kiss. Um, then it goes on. Then by the 8th of July, he's, he's asking me to go up to Wales to stay with him. What you wear? What you wearing? I like to see your boobs out on FaceTime. Then he asked me, he says, Are you, I bet you've got no bra and knickers on. I always wear a bra and knickers. I'm in my 50s. Um, 8th of July. Go on FaceTime. Oh, and take a picture of your tits. What colour bra and knickers have you got on? And what happened basically, I would go outside in the evening and I would get people laughing at me or doing... It's got worse. It's got worse. Somebody belched at me underneath my balcony on Sunday. Which, I mean, to say, oh, people belch, so, so that's it. But I've walked past people how as houses and there's been rude noises and people saying things and I can't wear earphones so I can't block it out so it pisses me off. It makes me really upset. And by the way, it's really, really hot in here. There's no windows, so it's boiling and I'm perspiring and I feel like hot and a bit faint, so I'm gonna have to open the door. It is really hot in here with no windows. It's exceptionally hot in this bathroom. Um, this has all happened also. The guy from Hyde Housing sent someone out to put new smoke alarms in. Um, I don't have a smoke alarm in my bathroom. Um, I don't know if I can show you the ceiling. Hold on a moment. Um, I, I won't know if you've seen this but this is what my ceiling looks like in my bathroom and if you go out into my hallway I've got a lampshade and the guy fixed this smoke alarm up here the one that stood on the step ladder and said he was when well, he was having a conversation with Derek so that's my smoke alarm <laughs> So, but specifically, this guy asked me to come into my bathroom. That's next door's dog. So then she's slamming the door and the dog's barking. I'm in my bathroom, she's next door. So I've been talking in my bathroom and she's come out with that goddamn awful dog. Right? <laughs> So I find that a coincidence as well. I do find that a coincidence. I'm in the bathroom talking to this camera and she's come out with that dog barking next door. And this is where 
that guy on FaceTime wanted me to come in and expose myself. This is my bathroom. Um, today I have had a barrage of pornography. Um, men exposing themselves to me on Facebook uh, with Arab writing. And one of them was called Yusuf. Yusuf. One of one of my mother's mental health workers was called Selma Yusuf. So I've had three or four very graphic videos of naked men. And one of them was called Yusuf. That's been sent to me. I was on the phone to my mother and the mobile phone went off with Ben on it. While I was talking to my mum, I'd phoned my mum from my living room. And then I had a audio call from a, this somebody called Ben. Um, whilst I was having a conversation with my mum, I noted it all down. This is called a harassment journal. Um, last time the police came into my flat, they didn't take me seriously. So I started writing down what's going on. Um, all the FaceTime messages, I've had a uh, FaceTime, uh, like foreign guys, and they're sending me extremely explicit photographs, which I've reported to Facebook. And it says, if you feel in immediate danger, call the police because no one should be sharing explicit pornography and videos to people on Facebook. It advises you to call the emergency services. Um, just now, I've had a... a, a, a so the guy on face, Facebook would call me in the evening and I'm not talking to him anymore and I haven't spoken him, to him for about a week. Um, it's two minutes past six. HK Pisco. I'm not joking. HK Pisco, P-I-S-C-O, called me at 6.02 on Facebook. As this profile was created in 2022. Apparently, he's a digital creator. It's full of Arabic writing. Um, he called me. I've had an Asian man of about 70 to 75 with long, with grey hair, uh, contact me on Flirt Finder, talking like an Englishman. Talking like the guy that talked to me on Facebook. Hi, how are you? And he looks like he's a really, the picture looks like a Muslim. Um, I, the police are coming out uh, this week at some point and I, I, they need to take it seriously. Because, I mean, it could be a prisoner. Yusuf Rahim is Levi Belfield. Yusuf Rahim is Levi Belfield's name. This is scaring me now. This is actually scaring me. And the blondes walking about, the blonde women with their blonde ponytails. Um, and the guy upstairs has got the Levi Belf Belfield Ford Mondeo, uh, a replica of it. It's not the Levi Belfield Ford Mondeo. Um, I sit in my flat. I am bombarded with pornography, men showing their, you know, in various positions, they wank and send me videos and I, rep I, I report them to Facebook and then another one appears and I just have to keep reporting it. Um, one of them had his bum at me, his bottom. So I had a graphic, pornographic video of a man's arsehole, which was nice. Um, there's screaming kids going on outside. I don't find this funny. It feels like the whole flat is bugged. I think the police should have the place swept for bugs. 
because this guy specifically wanted me to go into the bedroom to sh the bathroom sorry to take my clothes off and she come i go into this bathroom and she's immediately come out of that door banged it shut and the dog's been barking I noticed I also noticed when when Sean did a like a 10 minute FaceTime call with me or even longer and I went outside that was when I was being bullied so the other day when that blonde girl was on the field um, that was well that would have been about the time Sean uh, would have been asking me where I was and what I was doing <laughs> I'm trying to prove I'm not crazy that's the whole point of this as well but the police are coming out and it's being written down um, I don't know what the intention of ex sending explicit male pornography to a woman in her 50s with mental health problems and disabilities it, I don't know what that's achieving to people showing me a picture of a man's hairy bottom uh being penetrated by a bloke i do not not know why you are sending me that that's very very sick that's disgusting There is absolutely nothing I can do about it. Nothing. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to tell this all to the police. I've been told they are people in a foreign country and Great Britain can't do anything about it. Why are foreign blokes sending me pictures of gay sex? And I'm a woman. I don't get it. See you later.